It was a World Cup like none other, for America at least. Bars filled to capacity with fans and around the clock television coverage. It just brings everybody together. There's a lot more uh, patriotism and unity. Now, in most countries, people go back to watching their local teams with the same passion. But do Americans turn to their local teams as well? Compared to leagues and teams, it's not the same fan base. <laughs> Major League Soccer, the current pro U.S. Soccer League, started in 1996 and has steadily grown from 10 to 16 teams. But compared to sports like baseball and football, attendance is low. And the soccer culture in the U.S. may not compare to that of other countries around the world. MLS games average about 16,000 fans, whereas top international soccer leagues like English Premier average about 35,000. The American soccer fan is also an American football fan, an American basketball fan. So I think, you know, you're going to have a little bit of a divided loyalty. Sasha Sarovsky has been coaching for 17 years at the University of Maryland leading the team to two national championships. With over 30 years of experience in the sport, he's had an up-close view of American soccer. The pattern in the you know, last 30, 40 years has been you play soccer as a young player. If you're a very good athlete and you can also play football or basketball, you start choosing those sports. Um, I think we're seeing less attrition to other sports than we've had before, but we're still not getting enough of the super athletes sticking with soccer. But Sarovsky says today his players have more opportunity to work professionally than they did 10 years ago. Goalie Zach McMath came to college at 17 to start training early for the professional leagues. Just watching all the you know all stars that play in the World Cup. I mean, this past month, I think that's been the biggest motivation to represent your country and you know should make your family proud, make your country proud. Certainly, it was national pride for the U.S. team that drew a lot of viewers to the World Cup. USA! But there's a big difference between World Cup watchers to die-hard soccer fans. We show up for everything. It becomes a lifestyle. It really does. The traveling for road matches, coming to every home game. The Screaming Eagles are DC United's dedicated fan base. Now at over 1,000 registered fans, currently led by President Paul Satuta. Every, every World Cup, a few more people join up. And it's, I can tell the difference from even four years ago, much less 16 years ago. I played soccer when I was younger, so I've had a little bit of an interest in it, but the World Cup is what really, this time I was like, all right. It's, it's a big deal. I'm going to go. To help attract more fans, MLS brings in international players that may have passed their prime abroad but still raise the level of U.S. soccer. Two of the biggest names to join MLS are David Beckham in 2007 and just recently Thierry Henry. What Americans want to see is the best players in the best league at the highest level. And I think uh, Major League Soccer is headed in that direction. I think you're going to see. Uh, Major League Soccer become more of a destination for not only young American players, but also some of the international players that want to play here and make this a premier league. For now, young players must think about where they can best use their potential. I would love to play in the English Premier League just because it's one of the best leagues in the world. The MLS is definitely not out of the option. It's definitely a good stepping stone for a lot of young goalkeepers like myself or in young players in America. While the MLS may still be finding its stride, Satuta says the performance of the U.S. soccer team in this World Cup shows that MLS quality is rising. Just about everybody on the national team started in MLS. If you want to see who the, be the best players in America are, for the most part, you're going to see them here. And maybe more importantly, a shift in attitude towards soccer is what both players and fans are counting on. I think you're starting to see it not just in the international communities, but Midwestern kids. They're not bound by that old stuff, and they've, they've been exposed to the sport in a way that your Jim Romes of the world have, were not when they were kids, and they know how awesome it is. DC United! John Kulbakar, The Associated Press.